hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about how to deal with a setback so if that is something that you're interested in please keep on watching before we get into the topic make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and of course make sure you turn on the bell notification so that you know when i upload a new video okay so now that that's out of the way let's get into the topic so let's talk about setbacks i know how difficult it is to be on a skincare journey and you know everything is going great your skin is amazing your skin is popping everything is going perfect but then you have a setback let's say for example you are on an anti-aging journey maybe you have acne and you have been on a journey trying to get rid of your acne or you can also be on a skin lightening journey it doesn't matter what your goals are whatever you're doing sometimes we all experience setbacks and having a setback can be very demoralizing and discouraging and i know exactly how that feels because i've been there so many times like for example recently after eight years after doing everything right taking my supplements eating well being healthy and you know using all the right products i started breaking out again because you all know i started my journey because of adult acne and you know i just somehow ended up where i am today and i'm pretty happy with the results that i've gotten so far but uh, i started off my journey because of my adult acne i had so many scars i just wanted to get rid of them and of course i also at around the same time i was experiencing a experience experiencing adult acne i also got chicken pox so i was a mess but recently i started getting acne again and i wouldn't say it's acne it's just like these random breakouts that will pop out on my face which is why i went back to using which is why i went back to using hydroquinone as a spot treatment some of you, some of you guys already know this and of course i wouldn't say i was devastated but i was a little bit concerned a little, little bit worried and i'm like oh my god uh, the breakouts keep happening i'm taking all the supplements i'm taking my evening primrose i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do but i'm still getting like these random breakouts now it wasn't as bad as it was before i started my journey they are pretty much manageable but i can live without them i can do without them in my next video i'm going to share with you guys my um, my new routine and the things that i've done to change the changes that i've made to curb the breakouts and they have been working for me pretty well i'll share with those i will share that with you guys in an in an upcoming video because i do have an upcoming skincare video to share with you all so let's talk about what you should do when you experience a setback so i'm going to make this video as short as possible but i'm going to be gearing towards i'm going to be gearing more towards the acne and skin lightening people on my channel who may may have experienced a setback and i'm going to share with you guys what you should do when you experience a setback all right so when people experience a setback especially people who are on a skin lightening journey they the first thing they do is panic number one and the second thing they do is they start exfoliating right away they run and buy a peel, they run and get run to get chemical peels or whatnot. And sometimes that does more damage than good. So what would you consider a, step, a setback? For example, you may have been on a skin lightning journey and you went on vacation and you pretty much lost all your progress while you were on that vacation. You got a tan, you got sunburn, maybe you even got darker than you were before. And you know, um, those are the people that may or may not be been on steroids and of course i know how devastating that is especially knowing that you spend so much money and you spend so much time working on your skin to get to a point where you're happy only to have all that results going on the drain like it never happened and even worse only to only for you to end up worse than where you start off and i know how difficult that is so let's say for example you may have been on um you may, you may have been using steroids and you experience a setback or maybe you got your results um the natural way and you experience a setback because you went on vacation and you know you weren't able to um sun protect and avoid the sun 
of the, for, for whatever reason. I mean, if you're on a vacation, most people go to, on a vacation to a tropical destination. I live in a tropical destination, so I know exactly how to avoid the sun and I know exactly how to protect my skin when I'm out in the sun. So um, if you are coming from Europe or maybe from the United States where you do not experience this type of weather, you may think that you know you're doing everything everything right but then of course you know after your vacation and you look at your skin and you are devastated because you literally lost all the progress and i'm here to tell you what you should do so again do not panic because that's what most people do and please do not start exfoliating right away i know people people i know you want to get back on your on your routine and I know you are desperate to get back the results that you got previously, but the last thing you want to do is irritate the skin even further. So what you should focus on, especially if you got super tan from being on vacation and being exposed to the sun, what you need to focus on is healing the skin. So the first thing you should do is apply aloe vera lotion to your skin for a minimum of three days. Check the description and I'm going to link one of my favorite aloe vera lotion below and make sure you click that link and get that aloe vera lotion in case you are experiencing a setback right now okay so do not exfoliate your skin do not run and get amlactin or fear and white alpha hydroxy acid do not start bathing with um koji koji sand soap do not do that okay the first thing you should do is focus on healing your skin and the best thing you can do for your skin is get like a neem cream or an aloe vera cream or lotion and apply that to your skin minimum because honestly i think you should apply to your skin for at least a week and focus on healing your skin while you're doing the healing make sure you're putting on sunscreen and make sure you are avoiding the sun that's the first thing you should do after you have experienced a setback so after you have done the healing you apply your aloe vera lotion and your skin um is recovering from the shock because honestly ladies a tan is a sign of sun damage i know tans look great i know people love tans a lot of people are crazy about tans i for one i'm not crazy about tans i i like i prefer a fake tan i would prefer to use a filter to get a tan with a filter or i would prefer to use a fake tan i do not like tan tans that you get from the sun because a tan is a sign of sun damage that's how your skin try to protect itself it becomes darker while it has been damaged by the sun so if you have, if ever you see a tan and you see those tan lines yeah they may look cute they may look sexy for some people but it's skin damage that's basically what it is so once you have healed the skin by applying the aloe vera, aloe vera lotion and maybe even shea butter or whatnot now you can focus on exfoliating so what i would recommend is that you get the fair and white alpha hydroxy acid lotion i'm going to leave a link in the description below or you can also use the amlactin lotion because if you want to get back on your skin lightening journey you have to exfoliate you have to start all over again and use it for two weeks if the tan goes away after two weeks you can start lightening if not keep using the cream until your tan goes away and then you can start lightening again okay so that's what you do after you have experienced a skin lightening setback now let's say for example you have experienced a setback where you had acne and your acne came back so what i would recommend that you do is focus on what may have triggered the acne what triggered my acne was i was drinking hot chocolate every single day i was putting hot chocolate i was putting chocolate in my coffee guys we have this amazing chocolate in my country calypso i think it's calypso chocolate oh it tastes so good y'all it tastes so good it's like it's like heaven in a cup i love it and i was addicted to it and i started breaking out like crazy and that's what triggered my my acne now now i figured out what triggered the acne and now all i can do now is start taking care of the acne so if you feel like your diet has been a trigger for your acne because you know i know how difficult it is to be to get rid of acne only for it to come back that's not good 
nobody nobody likes to see a bunch of spots all over their skin especially on their face because i have a spot somewhere here i don't know if you guys can see it but it's pretty much covered with foundation but i have this one spot here and then i had a bunch of breakers on my forehead um it faded away but you know thanks thanks for the the hydro Q, hydro Q serum by skin by jilla ross this is what i use to spot treat those dark spots from my acne okay that's what i use all right so you figured out what triggered your acne and you reverse that okay you stop you stop eating or drinking whatever it is you were doing to get that acne sometimes it doesn't have to be a diet sometimes the trigger could be stress so if you as long as you figure out what the trigger is you can now work towards solving the problem all right so you got the acne and now you're left with spots with dark spots all over i would recommend that you use a hydroquinone serum of two percent hydroquinone and you use that to spot treat you drink lots of water and you take your supplements and your vitamins i would also recommend that you start to do a weekly peel i would also recommend the as dhem beverly hills lactic acid serum i would rec i highly recommend this i love this serum this one is 60 percent but you can get a lower a lower strength especially if it's your first time doing it so i'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you so that you guys can get your hands on this i would also recommend a vitamin c serum i have the vitamin c serum from skin by Jada ross if you can't afford this one you can get the cheaper version which is the tree of life vitamin c serum guys there's always if you are on a budget there's always a cheaper alternative for you i don't know about the quality but again there's always a cheaper alternative so i would recommend a vitamin c serum i would also recommend the pressure serum because this is what helped clear my face up and guys i know this is in short supply this is sold out everywhere it's sold out on amazon and it's sold out on the mitchell brand website however i will put a link below where you can get an alternative to an, an alternative to this serum sorry guys <laughs> my camera died okay yeah i'm gonna leave a link for an, an an alternative which is just as good as the pressure serum in the description below i know it's sold all but don't worry guys there's always a solution to every problem also i would what i would also recommend um if your acne is pretty severe i would recommend that you start using retin a and i unfortunately i do not have a link for this retin a because i got this at the local pharmacy in my country we in my country we do not need a prescription to get retin a so if there's a website that you can get retin a ladies with other prescription please put it in the comments below and i'll share it in my description all right so those are the, those are the products that i would recommend for people that had a setback with acne also again focus on taking your supplements and focus on drinking water focus on cutting out junk food and alcohol guys alcohol let me tell you guys something i just had a couple of beers i know but i don't drink alcohol often I probably have a drink like once a month or once every two months i don't drink a lot but one thing i had to give up actually was frequent consumption of alcohol and i have no regrets because honestly i don't miss the alcohol i do not miss the hangovers and honestly every time i drink alcohol i swear to god the next day i wake up my skin doesn't look as radiant like the night before alcohol is really bad for you and when you drink a lot of alcohol all those supplements you take in the glutathione the knack everything that you take in um it goes towards your liver and it gives you and it just basically it goes to your liver to help flush out the toxins from the alcohol when it should be going towards your skin you know so it's like you're wasting your money so the junk food and the alcohol has to go guys and i know how hard that is and i listen i know i know i feel your pain you i feel your pain but anyways um those are the tips i have for you guys who may or may not have experienced a setback because I experienced them too. And to be honest, I haven't experienced um, a skin lightening setback in a long time because you know I've been taking my supplements for so long that even if I go out and I spend an entire day in the sun, I don't tan or redarken 
in in a rapid way that you know i get home and i don't even recognize myself any, anymore and of course ladies and sunscreen if you're going on vacation make sure you're using the right sunscreen i am going to make an entire video about sunscreen and that video is coming soon but of course i still use the same sunscreen that i've been using for a very long time and it's the banana boat sunscreen for babies i do believe in a zinc sunscreen i do not like chemical sunscreen especially on your body so anyway that's all the tips i have for now ladies thank you so much for tuning in i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you guys in another video bye